It's my girl Lynette. <laughs> yeah, so and Stanley. your boy Stanley. <laughs> Random TV Review is your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with this week's Greenleaf Review, Season <laughs> 5, Episode of Raw. Not. <laughs> what we have for you all is very, very special. I know it's going to put a smile on your face because all of us are missing our favorite show right about now. Yeah, we are. I'm telling you, we're going through withdrawals. But what happened, I'm going to give you a little backstory. What is about to happen actually started from a tweet that we did in season yes. one yes check it out right here pastor grace back up against the wall i don't need to see the lining in my pastor's panties i'm just saying i'm going to hell pastor but she's not the pastor she only took the pastor position nor ain't never told us that he was saying <laughs> The pastors need some love too. She done shacked up. Pastor Gigi, if you get up in that pulpit today, you better not preach with that fresh goose. You, you better not. I'm changing churches. I promise you I am. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so that tweet got the eyes of the right people, which put us on the map with the entire cast of Greenleaf, right? So since season one, we've been having a back and forth, just friendly banter on social media, nothing yep. serious. They don't contact me, I don't contact them. It's been a mutual respect for what each other does. But I am very, we are very well known. Right. And all that good <laughs> stuff. So because I follow her on her Facebook platform, I'm usually just, I usually just pop into her lives every now and then. And every time I pop into a live, she acknowledges me. But I never wanted to cross the line between what we do and what she does. Right. But now that the show is over, I just, I just took my shot. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and type a little something, something, something. Boom. Here we go. And this was the response. You, you have to come on the channel for a chit. Oh my gosh. Hi, Lynette. Random TV reviews. I would love that. You guys are hilarious. First of all, I would like to meet you. Second of all, to talk to you guys about the show. Absolutely. Yes, Lynette. And Lynette, hit me up. Let's talk. I want I want to come on your show. For real though. Wow. So that's crazy, right? <laughs> like literally, wow. I I showed that to Stanley. He was like, Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we gotta get that set up. ASAP. So on this past Monday, we made this thing happen. Alright, y'all, to kick this conversation off, we asked Meryl, what in the world is you working on now? And this is what she had to say. I am working on this uh, new HBO Max show called The Flight Attendant. And uh, I play an FBI agent. And I, I just, I felt like it was going to be a nice um, uh, palate cleanser. And, mm. you know, just do, to do something. It's a murder thriller. It's a really fun group of people. Okay. Kaylee Cuoco leads the cast. And I didn't have to do, what, like, a lot of heavy lifting uh. in this one. And it was like... God was like, oh, let's just, you know, let's throw, throw something in the mix there and just, yeah. just change it up. It got me back in New York where I have a lot of friends here. My sister's here. Oh, okay. Awesome. And I'm, really, I'm really enjoying it. Um, although I did quarantine in uh, in L.A. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. But um, coming back here, the energy is really good because New Yorkers are resilient, you know, and they mm -hmm. really, really made, did the thing and got us back to work. That's good. You know? Yeah. And, and they got all these people back to work. And so everybody is doing what we need to do to make sure that we are, um, you know, moving, moving us forward out, out of this pandemic. Amen. And, uh, I swear. And that people can provide for their families. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm excited <laughs> about that project. I can't yes, wait to indeed. that come out. I can't wait till that come out. Yeah. Because we're going to look at that. We may have to review it. May. <laughs> We've always said, and everyone else has said the same thing that there is such a similarity between Gigi and Meryl Dandridge. Yes. And I was like, let, let me ask the question, like, y'all gonna hear it. Let, let, let's just get into it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> how did Meryl become Gigi on Greenleaf? Because when I look at you and I kind of follow you on Facebook and I'm like, your spirits are the same. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's, it's no difference, yeah. I'm like, did they morph this character to resemble you? Or was it just like, this was just made for me? 
You know, I it's it's interesting. Um, I was actually just talking with the creator the other day, and you know, just kind of just gauging after we'd had you know some time to kind of settle into how everyone responded to the final episode and what the body of work looks like as a whole and you know where where that franchise would go they were like this 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 feels good and i was like yeah it feels right and i didn't have any trouble with the words wow. i was like you know yeah. let's, I'll, just, I'll just go in tomorrow and and it'll be what it is and um and uh, so I put it on tape with the casting director, and a week later, while I was filming Rosewood, I was actually standing around with uh, one of my mentors, Eric Lestal, Morris Chestnut, Nicole Ari Parker, oh, and sweet. got this email that I that Oprah wanted to meet me that that day, and I, I was like, I, I was like, yeah, uh, 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 Oprah, Oprah, uh, like, uh, Auntie O, yeah, like, <laughs> what doesn't make any sense? Yeah, like, nobody knows who I am. Um. And it was an easy two-hour conversation. Craig, the creator, was there. Carla Gardini, one of our other producers, was there. And we just sat and chatted, and we just all were of the same mind. And when the conversation was over, they were like, well, you're grace to me. And, um, mm -hmm. and I mean, talk about high praise. Wow. For Oprah to request you? That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you already had the job at that point. Exactly. You already do. Exactly. And of course, we could not end this conversation without talking to her about Bishop Greenleaf's death. And how impactful that yes. was. Yes. So she went to tell us some different things that we did not see that they did, that did not make the show. Listen to what she had to say, y'all. Do you know I am still hurt? <laughs> I am yes. so hurt. Still grieving. And I knew, I, I saw it coming. I yeah. was, and I told Stella, I said, something's going to happen to Bishop. And I'm not going to like it. And I'm going to be heartbroken. Yep. And God doing it. <laughs> I, I just couldn't. I was like, this feels so real. Yeah. And now when I see him on Instagram, <laughs> it just throws me for a loop. Yeah, but like, like, I thought Bishop was dead. <laughs> Why is this so <laughs> real to me? I actually watched that episode with uh, Keith's wife and two daughters. And, uh, you know, just kind of holding space for them while they while they watched it now it was i mean it was tough for us yeah and what you what you didn't see there was a lot cut out of the final season i think for time but what you didn't see was this really oh and i forgot to post the dog on picture um there was this really powerful well you saw us sitting on the bed with bishop but what you didn't see is how we staged it everybody came in one by one had their moment with him Ooh. and we i mean it was a long scene and wow. we sobbed and then when the scene was over we all just held each other and cried because there was a finality to it and we knew that wow once 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 bishop's coffin was in the ground this leg mm. of this leg of the story mm -hmm. yeah is done. done yeah yeah like they said on the cross it is finished yeah it is yeah Ooh, yeah and I it was really hard um, to we, we just had to be emotionally supportive to each other when we filmed it and you know that was over a year ago yeah mm. so we um, had this whole year to kind of gear ourselves up and know and I remember when we were talking about how we were going to do um, the virtual press tour because we had to do it from home mm. that um, I think it was Lynn who said something, she said this, that we were going to have to love the fans through it. Wow. Because we were so devastated by it that yeah. we knew that the, the fans love, you know, feel like yeah. they're one of us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we we <clears throat> hold them like they're one of us. And, and um, this was a, a big, it was a big hit. Yeah, real yeah. big Because yeah. we thought, we thought Bishop was playing around was like tricking, you know, tricking May, you know, because he played a, played a whole lot of games with her anyway. And I was like, okay, eventually he's just going to snap out of this. I got you. I do. But when it kept going, he kept going. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. no he no, started no. going backwards. I was like, no, no, Bishop, no, no, no. I said it. Yes. I mean, I had tears yes. for lying. And I was like, what is wrong with me? Is it quarantine? Like, what's wrong with me? I'm like, I'm over here. Falling. Yeah. I, I wish that I wish they had put the siblings one by one 
coming into yeah. the room. I wish they did that, because that would have been so, even if it would have been long. Could we but, take it though? Yeah, uh, yeah, Could yeah. we take it though? I don't know. Yeah, it would have been tough because I don't want to go in the room and say some words too. Because <laughs> we all needed our moment too because we didn't get the funeral that we deserved. So, you know, we couldn't we couldn't get around speaking about AJ and as much as AJ got on our freaking nerves. Right. When that joker gave his life to Christ and how it just, uh, how it just translated on the screen. Yes. <laughs> just, just hear about it. Just, just listen. And then it didn't make any better when AJ got saved. Yeah, right on top of that. Yeah, right on top. Yep. <laughs> and let's how did y'all do that scene? Because it right. translated just like the church experience when someone gives their life to Christ. Like you felt it. Yeah. His I face was, expressions, the way he was I mean, looking up at the front. The anointing of God. Yeah, it was just it was, like Yeah, y'all nailed it. How in yeah. the world did you well, capture the, that? The, the main thing is that we all have Lord in our hearts. Right. That's so right. And we we all love the Lord. And I'll tell you, when somebody gets saved or gets baptized, Merle cannot <laughs> hold it together. <laughs> I'm a mess for the rest of the day. Right. Maybe the day after, I'm like, <gasps> yep. I just shift it. <laughs> you know, I just can't take it. I cannot take it. People I don't even know coming up and giving their life to the Lord. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and don't let it be a man for me. If I see a man in a vulnerable position, done. You're gone. I am yes, done. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. oh. <laughs> the thing with AJ, uh, Clement, our director, he, you know, he directed the very first episode too, and he said, you know, AJ, this is where you're going to come down. This is the exact same place that Gigi knelt in the first episode, Ooh. and the rest of it, <clears throat> we didn't plan. You know, everybody was coming around, and of course, we didn't, wow. we didn't decide who was going to be what. We didn't. We were just like, "Wow, oh, well, one, of ours, one of ours has given their their life to the Lord." This, yes. This, wow. This, this is what the calling on our life is, and if right. one of ours is, we are all going to join hands, and we are going to mm. we, are, we are going to touch and agree. Wow. Wow. And, and that's just what we did, and. Um, and you know you find where your place is, where you where you can get in. And mm -hmm. um, my brother and sister were really close with him, praying in his ears. So it, it was just natural for me to you know stand, hold, hold space and just praise and thank yeah. the Lord while you know, while it was happening. And then of course when Lady May came, you know, and we just that's you do what you do. So that's yeah. why it felt authentic because it was. It was. Yeah. Oh it was how how they how they brought that together. That was insane. Yeah. Like, yeah. if we were to watch that scene again right, right now, I guarantee you I would still have that same feeling like if yes. we were in church and somebody gave their life to Christ. Oh, when you gave your old life to Christ. Oh, it was something. It was something. Yeah, powerful, powerful. Now, on this next part is one of the things that we love about YouTube the most. When people come and say how we've touched their lives, changed their lives in so many different ways that we don't know. And this actually happened to her. So listen to this story, y'all. This is powerful. That uh, youth minister, you know, in in a, uh, she would, his wife would say, it's, it's become part of her ministry, but um, her husband, my youth minister, could not come because uh, he was helping with uh, their young son who mm. um, was, ha was dealing with, um, with cancer mm. and in the next two years they lost two of their four children oh my gosh and they just last week started really going through greenleaf and they watched 105 with the little boy who died with the, the thing and he and he reached out to me to tell me what it meant to them oh my wow. god and I, I mean stuff like that i i just i mean i you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it it says that we had our our even though you know it was a new form of drama for the network. Even though they were figuring a lot, lot of things out at the time about how, how we we were in many ways um, the guinea pig for a lot of ways that they were they were trying to you know pave the mm -hmm. way for all these great things that were that were to come and figure yeah. out how, what the model is with marketing, you know, how to do things. Yeah. And that even through that, that so much truth 
came mm-hmm. out, came through it. Oh my gosh. And that people uh, connected to it and mm. saw themselves in it and, um, you know, or even to find some some kind of healing. I, like I told you, yeah. I mean, you she just never know. Yeah, and she, you can see there, she was about ready to lose it right there because of that. But yeah, that's what it's all about. It's about changing lives and helping people, man. It's um, positivity. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Especially in times like this. Exactly. Look, I already knew when we had Beryl Dandruff on this channel, it was not going to be an interview. It literally was going to be us having a conversation with our, our cousin. cousin and them. Yep. You know how you find that cousin on social media and y'all just pick with each other, but y'all have never met and you don't really have real conversation. That's what we did. We, yeah. we literally had a 45 minute conversation about everything. everything. Yep. I mean, life, life experiences. Um, she was checking on us with um, how we were doing from last year. Like she knew all about, you know, our transitions on last year when we had to take a break, all that good stuff. See, that's how you know it. That's yeah, how you know uh-huh. the love is yep, real. When, exactly. You know, so we did have a conversation about the spinoff. I know there was a whole bunch of mm-hmm. unanswered questions that we were like, okay, finale is here and they didn't address this, that, and the third. Yeah. And she did confirm that there will be some things that it's will be, be addressed. Answer. Yes. In the spinoff. So I was like, okay, don't don't say them out. Yeah, because we don't want you to lose your job. Because I need you <laughs> to continue to get paid. Right. But I will say we had so much fun. Like I said, 45 minutes. Y'all just get yeah. a little bit. Exactly. A little bit of the 45 minutes. Because we are going to treasure the conversations that we had that were so personal to us. Yes. And there were moments where we felt like crying. There was times where we were like... And there were times <laughs> where we were just hysterically laughing. Yes. And it, it, we, we just had a ball, y'all. So I know that if we fell in love with Meryl Dandruff and if you have fallen in love with Gigi, yeah. you... I mean, it speaks for itself, <laughs> y'all. Such a beautiful person. And yes, she thank is. you so much for coming on the show. And she has confirmed that once the spinoff is over, she won't come back. Yeah, she we're going to get on back on here, Mike. She'll be back. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to leave y'all with this that she said to us that touched us so much because we had no idea the effect that we had on them. But I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to let her talk about it right here. You, you bring levity to everybody, and, and uh, uh, you brought a lot of light to my life. And, oh, you know, what, wow. what, appreciate just that. Seeing it reflected back, you know, wasn't wasn't the easiest five years, but you guys mm-hmm. really just kind of, you know, made it oh. uh, made, made made us feel seen, you know, and like oh, you know, wow. our, our buddies are, are holding space for us I all the way through. So oh. thank you. All right, with that said, straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty, soft. Two up, two down. Hello!